what's up? And we're getting back after it with our 70 and a half Z28. Uh, we're gonna go into the wheels and paint these. So, um, at first off, why was a, uh, is it a 70 and a half? So most, most companies are gonna release uh, their cars the end of the year prior, so around between like October and December time frame. And uh, in 1969, Chevy was going through uh, some issues, a lot of people on strike. Um, and the 69 Camaro sold so well, uh, they just continued to produce it while they were going through the strike issue and then didn't release uh, the, the 70 and a half until, uh, until February uh, 26th of 70. So they called it a 70 and a half, which Chevy never uh, acknowledged, regardless. I didn't think it's just a fanboy thing. Um, Really awesome car. So it obviously it's the first of the second generation Camaro, uh, which uh, Chevy put out in '67 uh, to compete with the Mustang, you know, as a pony car. Arguably, completely outperformed it. Which, yeah, my wife has a '68 uh, Mustang coupe, but one of these days I'll get a, I get a Camaro. I love the 68, that's one of my favorites, but I also love this car specifically, um, just due to the split front bumper, the, the rear end uh, on it is really cool. It's longer, and check out the, the paint job that uh, came out from earlier. Pretty good, like that, it's a cool color, but um, uh, anyway, so Z20 is the first Z28 also, or excuse me, the 69 was the first Z28 uh, I'm going to have to double check that <laughs> I'll just screw this up but uh, the Z28 and 70 and a half introduced the, uh, the LT1 um, engine, which arguably one of the best that uh, Chevy made um, replacing the 302 V8, the same motor that was put into the Corvette, um, and, and we'll talk some more about that when we get into the engine. But talking about the wheels, so these wheels were specific to and unique to the Z28. So the cab, uh, see the little Chevy bow tie in there, and then there would have been a blue backing, and then. Uh, chrome trim around it. So, uh, and the lug nuts were specific uh, chrome on these, which your your standard Camaro didn't have at that time. Or these wheels. Uh, all these were specific to the Z28 uh, package, which back then, like five hundred and seventy something dollar package, uh, which even in nineteen seventy wasn't that expensive. Um, and uh, the difference between this car and a, a stock regular Camaro, uh, about 4,400 or a little bit higher, and your your stock Camaro was in the 20, just under 3,000, 20, 2,800 bucks um, for a brand new car. So we're gonna paint these. I'm gonna shut up and get after it. We'll see how it comes out. I'll do one. And I'll show you guys. Got my handy dandy magnifying glass here I'm using a zero tip uh, paintbrush. And uh, this is just like five dollar uh, acrylic paint from from Hobby Lobby. You can get you know high dollar enamel stuff or whatever. I'm just kind of trying to do this a little bit on a budget here. I'm going to go with the 
with this shade of blue kind of matches a little bit better I think it's not perfect but uh, I'm gonna sit here and mix a bunch of paint and, and get there maybe I'll do that in the future as I get better at this um, so uh, when you look at photos and stuff of them they look a little bit more flat but I kind of want that these to stand out a little bit so I think I'll I could go with the, this gray or kind of this more metallic looking silver. I think I'm going to go with that. Um, let's see how this goes. Um, but make sure if you guys like this. Let me know what, but you know if I'm one. Obviously, if I'm putting out ridiculous information, um, I'll fix myself. Here, but I'm always trying to learn uh, more. I eventually, my goal is to have my own shop. I have restored these things, whether resto modding or um, or taking them back to the original. I personally enjoy. Kind of keeping stuff original. There's definitely cool stuff that goes out. But there's something about what they were doing back then. I mean, what these cars were when they were coming out of the factory with it's pretty nuts. Uh, uh, I mean, the LT1 itself is a, quite a magical piece of engineering. I mean, you're getting solid lifters, forged aluminum pistons. I mean, out of the out of the factory, which at the time, uh, solid camshaft, um, and, and fixed a lot of the problems that the 302 had. Uh, still better than a words in my opinion but uh, fixing fixing a lot of those issues but I do want this to be pretty darn close no I didn't sell it with metallic orange paint out of the uh, factory but This is as close as I could get to the color. I like the orange, personally. Uh, it came in uh, green and red. I think uh, a brown, too. Uh, I don't know about the Z28 specifically. I'll look into that. If you know, let me know. Once I finish this, I'm going to double check what photos and stuff because this might be a little bit too shiny. Some freaking light in here so I can see too. Um, To me, I mean, uh, these things are art. These old classic cars, compared to what is getting pushed out nowadays. Um, 
and it, what you were getting for the price is uh, quite spectacular. This glass is really helping me see where the brush is going and get down in there and get in these tiny little spots, which I didn't have when I did my Ford, which I have to do do a video to stay after on it and kind of talk about it. There's a 55 Ford F100. So, it came out really good. But, I didn't have this magnifying glass in it. I could have got a little bit better details done on it, although I did put quite a bit into it. See if you can see that. That's how it would have looked. I think I'm going to come through with some black, kind of fill in around the lug nuts, kind of give it some depth. And uh, I want to double check and see if the around those holes, if it was black from the factory or if it was all steel, uh, chrome or steel. I need to double check on that. I like the, I like the little things. Let that choker dry, uh, and then get into the yeah, drums itself. We're gonna go black with those, and then we'll put it together. Appreciate you guys stopping in. We'll talk some more about it. See you guys.